Hi, this is Steve from Hashtalk Guide, and today we're going to do an update on the ICO Wizard. There's been quite a few new features, and currently it's under audit. It's not available on Ethereum main network. This will change with week ending February 3rd, hopefully. Alright, so features we're going to be talking about is now you are able to go back to a contract that you have previously submitted uh, if you have the address selected on MetaMask that you've deployed contracts with before you can now click choose contract and it will give you a list of all the crowd sales you have open with that address and another new feature has is manage. You no longer have to use my Ether Wallet or MetaMask and you know uh, give them a complicated data. Now all you have to do is go to ICO Wizard Manage page and you can change the start time and end time, rate and supply for each tier. Uh, this is only a single tier, so uh, you only see one tier right now. Um, I don't think they have a option to add whitelist right here. I'm sure they'll be coming in the future. But let's go over and create a crowd sale to see the next new feature. Uh, the next new feature is good for the Ethereum network, main network. Uh, will be good for POA network in the future once it's getting used. So let's create our token now all right I'm gonna go through it as if you've never seen the video before this is the name of your token that will show up on etherscan and all that this is the ticker anywhere from three to five letters decimal points uh, ethereum has 18 uh, I believe POA network has 18 just better to keep it at 18 unless you have a reason not to this section reserve tokens you reserve tokens so after you finalize the contract after the end date these tokens get distributed and it's part of the total supply the total supply is the total amount sold during each tier plus all reserve tokens and you can reserve tokens in quantity or percentage if you want to do percentage Let's say you want 50%, you sold a million tokens, you get 500,000 when you finalize the contract, 50% uh, of a million. And the total supply would be 1.5 million because you sold a million and you had 50% reserved. That's how the reserved and total supply works for this crowd sale contract. Now. If you know Solidity programming and you want to um, create a different contract for the wizard, uh, you can do so. Submit a pull request on the wizard GitHub, uh, GitHub slash POA network, you'll find it in there. And yeah, uh, people will be glad to have some new contracts in there other than Mintable. Okay, so let's let's continue. Now this is the new feature right here that's good for the the Ethereum main network. Uh, as you know, the Ethereum network gets congested sometimes and could cost a lot, or you know your transactions could take forever. Um, you know, one way to check just to you know get some highlights for yourself is uh, you go to fgasstation.info. And this will show you the current prices for, you know, standard, safe, low, median. Uh, I don't know what the median, median weight is. But, uh, you know, I come on here when I want to use the Ethereum network just to see how congested it is. Because sometimes it could be up to 40, 55 uh, GW for the transaction amount, uh, gas amount. But... You know, lately it's been pretty low. 
I don't know if that's an updated protocol or if it's just no one really using it since the market correction. But yeah, uh, I check here. Use the ICO wizard, this isn't really needed because the wizard has its own gas oracle right here in JSON where it, it automatically gets the info from the Ethereum network. Right now, I'm, I'm not connected to the Ethereum network, so I can actually show you. I'll show you in a second. Um, <clears throat> now, safe and cheap, this is going to be the slowest option. These numbers in here, the 1GWE, 4GWE, 23, this will change according to the network you are on. Say Ethereum network is congested and it's 40 GW per, you know, I, I don't know what they go by, but 40 GW uh, gas limit. The normal would be 40 GW. This one would be the safe median, uh, safe low. This one right here. Fast and expensive, that, that would be the most, you know, the quickest. Or if you want to set your own, you can set it. But one thing I'm going to say is if you're on the Ethereum network and it's congested and you want to set it low to save money and if it fails, uh, refunds are not provided in that case. Uh, do not use the custom feature. Stick with the predetermined from the gas oracle. I'll show you real quick that it matches up or it'll, it'll match up pretty close. We start my crowd sale. So you see, safe and cheap one, normal four. Oh, that's the same thing. Oh, all right. So this, this oracle is tied to the Ethereum network. So this oracle right here is tied to the main Ethereum network. If, if you're deploying on POA network, um, you know, you, you'd want to set custom. If you're on the main Ethereum network, then you're going to want to pick one of these options right here because this is based on the network as it is now. So that, that's the gas oracle. I'm not going to deploy, I'm not going to waste my ether right now. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all there is to show about it. Uh, then the next step is just submitting, con uh, no, submitting contracts. enable whitelist right here um, now I always allow modifying because you never know if you're gonna want to change things in the future um, allow modifying allows you to change the start and times rate and supply uh, you can always add a whitelist later I'll do a video on how to add the whitelist currently uh, I don't think it's on the new feature yet but um yeah, you, you enter an address that you want to allow to buy from your crowd sale, you know, the minimum amount and the maximum amount, and then you click on the plus. All right, so let me just fill in some information. And this new feature also, it, it, it shows you each contract and each transaction submitted. So now you can watch and, and see where, you know, that ever happened. And a good idea when you're deploying is to open up your developer's console and go up top and click on console. It will show you any errors that happen in JavaScript. So that way you can take a screenshot and submit with your issue on GitHub. Now these, these warnings right here are no problem. Do not worry about those warnings that mean nothing. You want to wait for a red ever. 
hopefully you don't get it seems like a lot of people are having it if you're having trouble don't have a uh, you know 20 browser or windows open all at once uh, don't try deploying uh, deploying to multiple networks uh, there's just you know sometimes things don't work out the way they're supposed to if there's too much open so you can see on the social network that it's much quicker and it's like that on POA main network too just showing you that uh, it checks off each transaction that you submit and you notice that the last transaction the gas amount was was incorrect um, based on what network you're on all the gas price for POA network is at one GB right now so I just set it to one if it was the wrong one exceed it, it it was successful all right I'm gonna show you real quick the net stats for the Sokol network you can see all the transactions getting submitted all right, it's good to be able to see all those and final transaction successful now I click OK and while you're at this page you have to make sure you click on download file if you don't do this you will not have all the information you need uh, this information is not saved to the blockchain it is in pieces but it, you won't be able to you won't have the ABI and all that alright so that is our crowd sale on the Solco network showing you all the new ICO wizard features I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel follow me on Twitter at hash guide and have a good day